What's up everyone? Today we're gonna change the serpentine belt tensioner pulley on this 2001 Chevy Silverado. We have our new pulley here. Um, the tools we're gonna need, we're gonna need a ratchet with a 15 millimeter socket, a 15 millimeter wrench, and a flathead screwdriver. We're gonna start with removing the, the air intake tube here so we can get to the pulley itself. All right, we'll loosen these screws here for these clamps. There's the one that goes to your throttle body, the one that goes to your air intake box, or your uh, mass, air, uh, yeah, mass air flow sensor. Remove that off the mass airflow. You will have a few clips over here that are connected to your upper radiator hose. I have to undo those. Pull the tube off the throttle body. Get that right out of the way. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is put the wrench on the adjuster here on the pulley that we're changing and loosen up the tension on the serpentine belt so we can remove that. But before you do that, make sure your truck has a uh, serpentine belt diagram. So when you put the belt back on, you're putting it in the right direction. And if it does not have one, either take pictures with your phone or draw a new diagram somewhere underneath the hood of your truck so you can remember how it goes. Uh, another thing, I'm not gonna take it off, but you can take the upper fan shroud off so you can have some more room. But we're gonna leave that alone for this, this job here. So this is where we're gonna need our 15 millimeter wrench. You put that on the bolt in the center of the pulley. Push on it like that. You can remove the belt. My tensioner isn't even going back. There we go. All right. Take the serpentine belt right off. <laughs> All right. All right, now that we got the serpentine belt off, there's three bolts holding this bracket on, I mean, uh, holding this pulley in place. Got one here. And you got two on the other side. So we'll take those out. And this is with your 15 millimeter socket and ratchet. I recommend you guys wait to let your engine cool down before you do any job underneath the hood. I didn't. And all this sh shit is hot. the old one. Pretty sure the bearing went. Oh yeah, the bearing shot in the pulley. Um, you got 
two long bolts, and a short bolt. The two long bolts go on the top, short one goes on the bottom. So now we're good. Let's throw our pulley back in, our new one. It's pretty easy to get in there. You gotta have it just like that. And it's gonna go down just like that. Get it right in place. Grab one of your long bolts. Get it to start threading in. It would definitely be a lot easier with the fan shroud off. Then you can get an impact gun in there. All right, I got one in. Grab the other second long bolt. Thread it in. I like to thread all my bolts in before I snug any down. So all the holes are lined up right where they need to be and you have no issue getting one of the bolts threaded in. Alright, I'm going to get these tightened up and then we'll throw the belt back on. Uh, this is where your serpentine belt um, diagram is. This is for V6, this is for the V8, gasoline, and this is for the diesel, which obviously we don't have. We have the V8, 4.8 liter. So we'll copy this diagram here. All right. All right, I just had some issues putting the serpentine belt on. So it goes around the crank, comes up, the smooth side goes around the water pump, down to the power steering pump, up to the uh, alternator, and then I recommend you put your belt on the tensioner pulley, get your wrench all the way down where it needs to be, ready to adjust, and then you can take what's left, adjust it, and push down and go over the uh, idler, go underneath the idler pulley here. I tried doing it putting a belt around the tensioner and it did not go well um, but yeah that's it for getting the serpentine belt on and the pulley so now all we have left so our intake tube back on Let me show this rubber piece the seat is seated on that pretty well um, easier to put the throttle body side on first. Get that in place. That one's already on. Take your flathead. Tighten your uh, clamps back up. That's it. It's a pretty quick, e easy job for the most part. I've had more trouble with the serpentine belt than anything. Um, I don't know what the recommended torque specs are for the bolts on that tensioner pulley. That's something you can look up on Google. Hopefully this helps some of you guys out. Uh, if you can, like the video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. There'll be uh, plenty more content coming in the future. And uh, share it. Share the video too. I'll see you guys in the next video.